That's my mistake. I was eating the can, not the stuff inside of it. Yep. Welcome back, listeners. Uh, this is now hour hour two. Wait a five four. Welcome to Wyvern Watch. That was terrible. Yeah. But after a brief break to PP and get some ravioli, we are back. went to a summer camp when I was a little bit younger, like early teens, and uh, th- I met a kid who could uh, suck in air through his anus and fart on command. And they, it was loud, too. He would, he would, like, curl up into the fetal position, like, spread his butt cheeks. He wouldn't be naked, of course. <laughs> you didn't have... Nobody thought he was naked. <laughs> That's powerful. Well, now, now I'm kind of suspicious. He was naked, of course. <laughs> I don't think he was. Na- <laughs> is he gay? I feel like that would be a no. very. He's a small kid. Honestly. Uh, COVID? Uh, he was small, so he wasn't gay. But he would he would take in the air into his anus, and then when somebody walked into our cabin, he'd do the pull my finger trick, and he would rip it, dude. Wow. Call those X. I feel X- like. <laughs> 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 The I think power to suck air through my I think hand. I know what camp you were at. <laughs> I feel like, though, the ability to, like, have that much control over your anal muscles would be a really good thing to have. Like, sex or butt sex. Right? Yes. Right? Learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube at that same camp. With his butt? No. But he could, couldn't he? He just got all the down. He would insert a Rubik's Cube unsolved in his anus. And he would poop it back out. <laughs> See, that's not impressive. The actual trick is he has two Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to piss? Yeah. Can you hold it for 20, 40 minutes? Mm, sure. Because then we'll be done with this recording. And yeah, you can go. Finally, don't do it. Right. a job for me. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is where I make my living. I'm not, I don't do this. Between this and live sessions. Hey, nerds. <laughs> I don't care about any of this dumb dice figurine shit. This is a job for me. Okay? So Just turn off ad block, you fuckers. <laughs> Imagine if we support actually support us on Patreon. I don't oh, do this like a dreams. good listener. Holy shit. We actually, if it's a smaller con, you can actually reserve panels. Oh, like even no. if you're no name nobody. But if we have a what is it, a fucking podcast with a series of episodes, they'll Google it and be like, oh yeah, they exist. They're, they have a YouTube channel with the co- Oh my god. They would let us have a stage, an oh audience, my and a microphone god. for an hour. That'd, that'd, be Holy shit, that'd be amazing. So a year from what now, about, um, we'll have like what, like twenty episodes. Let's do a. Uh, how hard is it to get a pan on MediaCon? Metrocon. Where, where's uh, MediaCon? Metrocon. Uh, what? Why'd you call it that? Because I called it that every time last year. Really? Not realized. We're trying to waste people's time at a convention. We hey, we've been wasting people's time online. We want to waste their time live, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that's a hundred percent possible. Holy shit. You can totally get a need. Fun. Fucking, I'm gonna write that on a sticky Wait, note. You can get current viewers at home. We're gonna try and get into a convention. <laughs> oh, because God. imagine how funny it would be if we got into a convention. Welcome to the official game, official Dungeon D and D podcast of trying to get into a convention. Because <laughs> I'll write a short like. You just be there. It's like our, our fifth, our fifth member, Joey the Mute, couldn't make it. Yeah. What? Oh, I, I'm. I'm like, actually, like, that's so possible. This is all should be probably cut out, Mac? Yeah. Welcome to the world of fantasy. The Forgotten Realms, home to Judel, Tauntlin, and Edelhard. Young, naive adventurers with very little in terms of insight, but large hearts and even larger ambitions. You guys have woken up. It is the next day, um, we'll move to meet up back in front of Duomo's place. That's right. Yeah. You guys actually, he, he requests you follow him, or you meet him in the library. 
Mm, so yes. once you've had, you know, many breakfasts, breakfast I, breakfasts, second breakfast, second breakfast uh, you meet up back into the second floor. Looking at the map wall, it seems we have a second floor now. Yes. Oh, wow, look at that. Welcome to the second floor, floor of important. the library. Check our, our Instagram page, at porn. For this, uh, at floor. hot sexy ladies, at underscore six nine, underscore kiss kiss. At nude celebs. Is that... Is that- XX or K I S S K I S S. Check our X and then K I S. To see pictures of the map so you can follow along, check our Instagram at Emma Watson. Real. I think actually we will get an Instagram and upload this. We'll wrap the name Emma Watson Real or else the viewers will get confused. I think the viewers are already confused. Nah, if you stick around, you're a real soldier. We Photoshop in Joey. Right, I think we've already at this point already made like 12 references to the fact that the people who are still listening are great. If they put up with all that, then they're great. Why didn't we just play fantasy music off the fucking Alexa? Does she do that? Computer, yeah. play fantasy music. Also. Fantasy by Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> Computer, wait, no, no, cover it. Stop! We're gonna get copyright. <laughs> We're gonna get content ID. Uh, yeah. So okay, but well, when he's so editing it, it's gonna be chopped. So yeah, it's, it's better. Just gonna sound weird. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's All right. So yeah, gonna... that's why I put my phone away. Anyway, what does Duomo say? <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> so, God, it's getting cut out. <laughs> Anyway, at the second floor, you see Duomo standing in front of it. If you remember, this is a brazier, brazier of smoldering. We didn't remember that because we've never been up here. You have been up here. I have not been up here. Yes, we've been up here. I've, I've explained it to you. Would you like anyway, to let's go on. What's Duomo saying? Um, but he's pouring out the book, and he sees you and, Oh, hello! About time you three got up. It's been a long time since I saw you last. Hey, Duomo. Huh? I... Hey, Duomo! Oh, hey, what's up? It's going good. What do you I had need, a really Duomo? good sleep last night. He uh, takes out the book, opens it again, fingers the two pages, closes it. I've got good news, and I've got a little less than good news, depending on how you see it. The good news is you have the two pages, and much like two points in a line, it helps me find the next page. The bad news is... You will not be able to take this book with you. I can use the journal as a as a channel of sorts to bring you to where you need to go. But the book will have to remain here with me. So we'll have to get back on our own. There's some glyphs in there that might be important, though. In the back of page two. Some like something we might I don't know, we might need to know. Looks at it again. He laughs a, a little bit. <laughs> This is, a, this is a, a simple light spell. It makes uh, you read something for the viewers at home. Uh, the pages of the journal, uh, the format of them, they have writings, and on the back have a inscription in a foreign language the players do not understand, nor can the... I'm sorry, the characters do not understand, nor can the players read. But you see Dorma recite whatever's written on this page, and generate a small, marble-sized orb of dim light in his hand that he then dismisses. He snaps the book shut. Follow me! He walks over to the bookshelf north of the browser, and he um, sets it in front of a, a center part of the bookshelf that he seems has cleared off. The shelves are organized, they're sneaked, they're dusted, and the books there are orderly and seem to be placed on with purpose as opposed to the, the shelves lining it and all around the library, in fact, that all have various uh, tools, candlesticks, dust, and pages littering the shelves. This one is very clean and uh, prepared. Dwarma bends down to the book placed in front of the bookshelf and opens it with the pages looking up at the sky. He um, steps back a single step and recites something, uh, if you guys recognize it, in a similar kind of tone and inflection to when he summoned the Orb of Light from the single page. And the words from the page begin to 
lift. It's sort of a scroll. You've got the flat page and then like a uh, strip of paper, strips of paper, like tentacles come up and weave in and out of the, um, the bookshelf uh, in the books and over the shelves to create kind of a writhing mass of these strips of paper with various uh, letters uh, of words you recognize and of these runes or these inscriptions, this language, this magical language that has been on the back of each page you've seen so far. Uh, he rests his hands and looks content and he turns to you. This will take you where you need to go. Into the bookshelf. Well, you, you, just stand near it, it'll do the rest. You're saying this is going to teleport us there? Yeah, you can say that. He's a, a wizard. <laughs> he coughs. I mean, are well, we all ready to go? I suppose there's no time like the present. Hey. Why not? Who's stepping towards the book? All right. <laughs> wow. For the really listeners at home, Zonzo eagerly raised his hand. You, um... Sounds dope as shit, Duomo. <laughs> you approach the bookshelf. You stand behind the journal, and uh, you close the distance to the point where you're standing either over or next to the journal. And you two see that the strips of paper that are weaving in and out of the bookshelves and of the of the tomes that are already uh, that are sitting so organized reach out towards um, Tonsil's body. It start to weave around him the similar way, wrapping around his arms and his uh, and his appendages, and uh, go like onto his face and like into his eye sockets and wrap around his eyeballs. Um, and pull him gently into the the oaken uh, bookcase. Does this pulling him gently and wrapping around his eyeballs? Like, and then a gentle the... tug on the eyes. <laughs> But, uh, Oof. yeah, it's it's mummify him, him essentially look. incomplete, and he mummify merges him into his eyeballs. What? Mummify him in his eyeball? I, I'm sorry, I just, are we going to glance it's over like the fact that they like wrap a, around his eyes? Model, like when all the textures just replace him, like that, it's like that. Yeah, essentially. Okay. Or are you, and then, and then, I, it just sounds kind of painful. That's how, that's how it feels whenever you crack open a good book. No, I'm saying, he said wraps around your eyes. I don't think we need to focus on that too. Not much. like I'm sorry. I, not I, like I think inside I, my I think eye I, socket. I, I, no. That's what I. That's like, what I. Oh heard. wait, you don't inside. mean it goes in his eye sockets? I mean, it kind of like on his eye. It doesn't like pop, pop his eyes out. Yeah, that's that's what I was hearing. I'm yeah, sorry. Well, like, like, it doesn't matter. Everybody's, the point is, it, it looks like the, end, like the, the ending, ending of book. Brazil. It looks, it basically <laughs> looks like the ending of Brazil. I, I haven't seen it. The viewers at home will know. Most people have seen it. Really? Right, have you know. seen it? I uh, most smart people have seen it, like uh, reviewers. Well, there you go. I'm a dumbass. I don't think any of our viewers would, would dare comment I haven't seen it, because I would out them as a dum-dum. <laughs> anyway. So, like, like three-fourths of this podcast. Pause the episode and go watch Brazil. <laughs> it's a good movie. It's, it's, I would recommend it, honestly. Uh, uh, Adelhard and Judel, you guys following suit? I mean, I'm engulfed. Right. What's what's what happens to me? After? I say you, you get pulled into the flush surface, um, and then I disappear. Yes. Right. Is yes, this safe? Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna hurt you. All right, let's emerge. I I step forward let's into go. the into the tendrils, prepare to have my eyes balls ripped uh, out. A similar thing happens to you with the. Strips of paper wrapping around you and pulling you gently, almost soothingly, into the um, into the bookshelf, and again they they hit your eyes as well. But uh, all right, Mike, I think that's enough here. Might be obscuring the volume. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. The listeners at home appreciate it. Okay. You feel no pain. Okay. And you phase through the bookshelf as well. That's good. Do you? I, 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 I didn't want to feel pain. God. You just jump in. <laughs> you just like. <laughs> It's like, it's like, dive. it's like we get in the pool. Yeah. So just me get in. All right. Real quick. So you face through the bookshelf and end up facing out of the bookshelf when you come to, rather you don't come to, you just kind of step out, you're pulled in gently, and then you find your own way out without the assistance, assistance of these magic strips and uh, find yourself in a, another library. The ceiling is low, 
the books are sparse, sparse, and the lighting. Spares. <laughs> I didn't want to focus on it. Positive. I mean, it's like kind of like what I. You fucking giggled. <laughs> we all giggled. Move on. Spares. Spares. Books are spares. 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 And uh, the room is dark. There is nobody to be seen uh, except for each other. Except for each other. Yes. Okay. We're all on our own nether realm. <laughs> you that can see that there is a staircase that leads up. The walls are solid, no windows. You can tell by the dampness of the area and uh, kind of the chill that this is an underground library. Oh, boy, we're underground um, again. However, it is... It's what? We're underground again. Yeah. That's where I had the reaper. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a staircase, though, that leads up into a light you can see. Okay, well, I suppose we should go in that direction. Yeah. Well, I'm going to head in that way. Sounds like a good room. idea. Yeah, any. Not? Let's go. Why not? All right. Makes sense to me, dog. So as you travel up the staircase, you begin to hear louder and louder the din of a tavern with patrons talking, music playing, and um, people bustling around with cups and plates. You get to the top of the staircase, and you see just that laid out in front of you, a medium-sized tavern. Uh, there are a good amount of activity. Uh, this is different time you left you entered the bookshelf around you know early, early morning right yeah, and, like, crack it and um the time is now you know towards the evening it is uh let's say an early dinner at the moment hmm. so like five o'clock yeah you could say that daylight saving this time or no was it, was it five o'clock <laughs> before we got in there or? no it, it was early morning the crack of dawn oh, so that's what we so like you're like a bunch of times passed yeah yes that's literally what he just said. I got to bring that up. <laughs> this is not the time we went into the books. Hey, you're right. Looks like it's like the sun's almost going down. Almost like it's five o'clock. Almost like it's five o'clock. <laughs> I look at my shadow on the ground and, and nod. <laughs> <laughs> Your shadow on the ground inside the end. Yeah, inside the end. <laughs> natural lighting. <laughs> Eventually, a barmaid sees you guys at the top of the risers and Walks in. Hey there. How'd you, how'd you get up here? Who are you guys? We just came into town. I didn't see you walk in the door. I, I know who comes in here. Nobody's allowed to leave now. It's it's closed hours. Oh, I, is it? I thought it was like early dinner, say. Let me explain. When I say closed hours, I mean nobody's allowed out on the streets now. It's closed hours. You're in here for, for the night. And I would know if you're here because you don't have a room. Do we not? We just got here. I want to try and like talk this lady. Into <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so do I? It's do like I not how, say? Do I not say we just got here loudly? Just, do you want I, I I just said that in character it. voice. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's easier to hear my high pitched voice over your low. You can roll a roll a charisma check to see if she believes what you're saying. Pass. Okay, so she's like, so you're saying you're trying to convince her that you do have a room. Yeah, that we got here for the night. Uh huh. When, when you guys arrived here, your friends here saying you just got it. I mean, we got here a little while ago. Like he's saying we just got here. We've been on a long journey like the past couple days. You know? She, and we just got in here today. She takes out a, a parchment. It's like a, a, a folded piece of parchment from her pocket and looks over the notes. Supposed to be. Uh, who are you, who'd you talk to? Who, who, uh, who signed you in? I think his name was like... Some weird looking dude. I, we didn't get his name. I think his name was Nyquist. What's his name? I don't, was it no? Was it like a? It was started with a consonant. Oh, I think it was a consonant. N is a consonant. Yeah. Why, why are you saying this? I don't. I don't. We just we got here. Catch his name. I, I don't. We haven't that. been signed in by we, anyone. We. We don't. Act, Where he are there? You were follow at, me, follow in the me. bath. He was in the bathroom. Yeah, please. We are in need of assistance. We need to. We we need to get a room. <sighs> she she. Motions for you guys to follow her towards the the door of the inn. I think I can talk my way to anything. <laughs> you know with him. <laughs> Not with the the guy that believes in in truth and honesty. Are you yeah. gonna smack me for like bad mouth? I don't think he understands that what we're trying. I don't think he understands yeah. what we're trying to lie because he just doesn't lie about anything. 
doesn't understand what lying is. <laughs> no, it's, it's just what that. What are I, you talking about? Yeah, I don't. We didn't do any of that. I don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my character does not understand what the point of all this is. He's. I'm, I'm trying to be sly. I'm confused. Lie, a lot of people a lot, so he doesn't, he doesn't immediately catch on. Yeah. He's like right. Sheldon Cooper with sarcasm. So you guys get pulled oh, over to the to the kind of the bar where a large human male um, standing, towering. None of you guys are. How tall are? Who's the tallest person there? Uh, I'm six one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm five three. Stands <laughs> a good four inches over you. Looks at you. Um, the, the barmaid whispers. Six, Six seven. Yeah, because then he's like an entire like head's length. Okay. So it's, he's six seven. Okay, <laughs> all right. He's a big guy. My uh, six, he's a big four. guy. He's a big boy. boy. He um. For you. But he uh. He's like a Ganondorf in stature. He looks at you with a stern face. The bar the barmaid whispers something to you. He grunts. Where did you come from? Drodel. Ah! He Drodal. starts giving you a serious, like, a verbal beating. I, nobody signed you in! Who let you in here? This we is, were this is closed hours, you're not supposed to be in here! We don't know. We don't allow people who's who've not been signed in Sir, in here. Please explain to me where I am. Um, he is what being you, you don't know where y'all. He's he's not giving you the time of day. Okay. Uh another you see somebody across the room in an apron serving a, a couple patrons beer kind of start to rush over to you uh, and start patting this guy on the back say, hey, hey, hey. He's a human male. He stands, I say equal to, uh, equal height to you. You're 6'1". Yeah. He's uh, he's blonde and a fit build. Uh, and he's trying to calm this dude down. He says to him, hey, hey, uh, I don't know, not doing, not doing Peter voice. <laughs> Peter, Peter. Hey. Oh, you're hey. excited. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry for gentle talk. Nick West, Nick West. I signed these guys in. It's okay, it's okay. What the? You was there. Nyquist? Yeah. He says Nyquist. Yeah. You actually guessed no. right. No. No. Literally, Nyquist is a fucking... It's the name of, like, a controls engineer from the 1850s <laughs> that I literally learned about on Thursday. <laughs> that was the, the name, name yes. of a barkeep. I'm sorry, a bar... A tavern owner... In the Forgotten Realms, in who knows what year. Yeah, just like Tchaikovsky. <laughs> just like Tchaikovsky. For viewers at home, but, I made a joke about how Tchaikovsky was an author. Like, this, uh, <laughs> this, this blonde boy calms down the huge barman, and uh, the, he, he heads back into the back room. You guys, where'd you come from? Come on. Boy, the you, you town, the the town of Drodel in the, on the island of Drill. Drodel? We were taken here by some magic. That's... Well... We don't know where we are. Was this by by accident? Did you guys do this on purpose? Uh, we... Kind of. We were... It's kind of a long story. It is. I mean... We didn't know we'd be sent into somewhere that was so... Uh, hostile. Strict. Which... Which, uh, which, which, which island... Which island are you on? Drill. Drill's a, a series of island. The main... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah the main, all the way. The main island. The main the island. Island. Weren't we, weren't we from the South Island? Yeah, we're from the Southern Island. I thought it was the main island. We were on the Southern Island. No. On the Southern Island? We were on the Southern Island. Oh, well, I, I'm not right. I'm not right. Adelhard's family is from the main isle. I, I am from the main isle. Yeah, I'm from the capital. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know we're that. South Drill. We're from that. South Drill, yeah. That's right. You're on the uh, Oops. How did you... Which one is this? We one? don't really understand how we've come to be here ourselves. It was ma- I'm gonna be honest with you, it was magic. He, he <laughs> sighs to you, and it looks maybe upset. He looks confused. He looks just kind of strange. He doesn't know how to comprehend this, but he doesn't. This is, uh, you're at the Sanctum of Elr, for, uh, for player knowledge. Or A O R R. He explains to you that this is a prominent town on the center aisle of Drill. Uh, in the hills towards the west. Uh, he so near the capital. Uh, I mean, not really. Not, not really. No. Okay. The capital is on the far western shore. This is towards the middle of the island. The okay. center west. The center. West. Yeah. I mean, you said west. I knew the capital was on the yeah, west. You're side. fair. You're fair. He pinches his temple. I'm oh, sorry. He pinches the bridge of his nose for a second. Look, I'm Ravenborn. 
R-A-Y-M-A-V-O-R. Raymond Bois. Raymond Bois. Raymond Bois? Sounds like a fancy name you got there. I'm Tonsil. I want to shake his hand. He reaches reaches your hand. Oh. I was like, wait, I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm Adelhard. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Judel. You guys, uh, you guys are gonna need some help. Um, I can get you a room for the night here, but you don't, you don't go out past, past sundown. Why is that? It's, it's not safe. I'll... He can explain at his own pace. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a quick talking guy. I like to quick, go fast. Yeah. I'm just gonna like put my arm on your shoulder, like. <laughs> Our town uh, has been under, under attack. Let's say it's been under attack. It's not attack. Nobody's trying to siege. Nobody. There's no one for them to gain. But we've been. Uh, Getting harassed for for quite some time now. Nobody's been able to keep the town safe, so we just lock up at night. We let them. We let the people, the harassers, do what they want. We move on. Well, that's no way to live. That's how we've been living. Constantly. We how, how long you been like that? Um, he ponders for a moment. Explains at least three moons. Three, like three days. Like or months, three months. months. Like like, months. like cycles of the moon. I mean, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's what he means. It's like talking in Fortnite's to me. <laughs> no, Fortnite's geez. a terrible game. Yep. Fortnite's a terrible game. I Podcast should. listeners. Yep. <laughs> so, a Fortnite is two weeks. Commercial yeah. podcast on PUBG. <laughs> hey. So about six. Six Fortnite's. Six Fortnite's. Is that a common so about thing three months to talk about? Well, you can use the term Fortnite if you'd like. All right. Typically, if it's three moons, you simplify it. I mean, damn, three months. That's, a, that's kind of a long time. Don't you got anybody to fight off like the invaders? They're not invaders. That's what you've got to know. They come here to terrorize and simply that's it. They, just, they don't want anything. They just hassle you? They hassle us. Do they, do they try and like steal like anything from you? Anything left out. Damn you. That wasn't me. Are they like ghosts? Are they like ghosts that say revenge? Oh. I, oh. To be I'm honest, Daggerfall. to be honest, I don't, not, who's who's ringing for a for a I barmaid? Haha. Hey. I might have ruined my. Yeah, somebody the bar is pressing the bell. It's too late. Somebody's ringing a bell. He tells you. To be honest, I don't I don't know what they look like. I I've been told stay inside during these hours, and I do as I'm told. I uh, I comb this tavern here. This is give me a one second. Remember what the tavern name is. Somebody write this down, please. This is the Swift River Inn. Swiss? Swift? The, the Swiss, Swiss River, River Inn. The Swiss. The, the, the Swiss. The ringing. The cash ringing. The Swiss River Inn. Thank you, Max. So, hold on. So, has anybody seen these these hooligans? Like anybody you know at all? We live in fear. We stay inside. It works for me. I own the ta- I co-own the tavern, so I get a share of all the people who come here for the night, who have uh, ventured too far out the town and have to find lodging until morning. Anybody who's who's seen them, like you can tell us about. Perhaps the guard. I know they have watch hours, at least one that still remains in operation, and they try to keep them out of uh, you know keep the the terrorizers. Terrorists under control. Terrorists. They can't. They don't do much. Hey. Or they are numerous. That's discrimination. I didn't say it in character voice. Okay. I'll take band in the UK. But podcast. I can get you guys a room. You have to share one for the night, for it is short notice. Yes. I can't remember the last time I slept in a bed. Wait, two days ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this sleep of mine. I can. Life. I can help you with whatever you need to do in the morning. I mean, okay. I appreciate that. that yeah, I, gu- good. I guess we'll stay the night. How much is the How much the is charge? lodging? Well, it's only one room, so it'll be a silver. One okay. silver. Okay. So, it's a coffin. I mean, why don't we all throw in some... I, I don't mean, have any Why don't we pieces. all throw in some copper? I don't have any copper. You don't have any copper, you poor fuck. <laughs> I know all you have is like... You poor loser. I, I, have, I have three gold. It's a silver? Yeah, I have a fair amount of silver. I have a lot of silver. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, really I only have three gold coins. 
Here's your silver. That I've probably been hanging on to since I was exiled. Here's your silver piece. Nice. Alright, so he leads you to a room, uh, second floor in a back corner. Uh, the door is creaks on its hinges. The room is dusty. The bed is unmade, or rather the cot. It could fit two of you if you snuggle. I'm going to lay out my bedroll. Okay. That leaves one man. I paid, so I see <laughs> <laughs> More than fair. Sounds fine to me. Okay. Well, we'd like to rest up until morning. Yeah. The fact let's, that let's we get... just woke up, we're going to sleep in some more. Yeah, well, uh, I'll give you guys the point of help now, and then we'll Yay. just pick up from here next week. Yay! Hey. Oh. We made Thanks it. for watching. Listening. All right, first, let's say... Um, Judo, you're at eight. Oh, do I have? I can't get eight health. Oh. <laughs> All right, you're at seven. Yeah. Uh, Tonto, you're at four. Yes. And Edelhard, you're at seven. Up. I am. Let's fall. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Those born trauma to the face. I was slicing, dude. Um. Okay. So, I was slicing to the arm. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, slicing to the arm. Who wants? Let's. You know, we should also have a recap. of What happened every episode at the end of said episode? Well, so who would like to do the recap? Honestly, I think for the audience, so though consolidating everything that actually happened <laughs> would be helpful. Be, might no, it might be a might make them realize, holy shit, these guys didn't do anything. They wasted my fucking time. I think of all right. Everyone roll a a d a d twenty. Whoever gets the thirteen. No, whoever gets the highest roll has to do the recap of this episode. Fourteen. It's gonna be me. <laughs> All right. What happened this episode? So basically, in your character voice, <laughs> as if you heard the character, like you're writing in your diary. Yeah, you're writing in your diary. <laughs> yeah, we should, every time we just alternate, like who's writing in their diary about what happened. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a like a spare piece of paper? I don't actually have to write. No, I'm just gonna. Effect. Yeah. <laughs> like stand. <laughs> like, I have enough. Stand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dear Diary, today, me and my friends. Back up the mic a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me get that close, but stay farther away. Dear Diary, today, me and my friends got away from the crypt. I bought a potion from my good friend Alfred Smokes, and then we headed out. On the way, we met a jester. And he gave me a riddle, and I solved it. It was about a hummingbird. He gave, for a prize, <laughs> he gave me two gold and a hacky sack. <laughs> when we got back to, to Drodel, <laughs> I was doing so well when I didn't know you guys were holding in laps. It was great, it was great. Keep going. When we got back to Drodel, we talked to Tuomo, and then he... Wait, when I say this in character voice, will it be like my personal... They won't be able to hear it, right? Yeah, I'm this is writing... like, the yeah. End, like the end credits. You know, but if I say something that's strictly going. to my character... You're not saying okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This, is, this is in your mind. Okay. This is your mind's eye. So for the night, I went into the library and stole some jewelry. <laughs> While the two other people <laughs> went out and slept outside of town. Or at least Adelhard did. I think Zoodle went and saw his family. So then, when we woke up in the morning, we went and saw Duomo at the library. And he did some magic with a book and transported us to this place in the center aisle. And it was like nighttime. So, and then we bought a room. Judo was nice enough to pay, so he got the cot for the night. So, that's about where we are. Thank you, diary. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to end a diary entry. Thank you for letting me tattoo you. Alright, that was, that was wonderful. That was something. Thank and you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to Hour Two of Wyvern Watch. Please join us next week when uh, we do something. Finally. Yeah. Maybe. Snaps. Snaps. Bye, Snaps. everyone. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>